Hey guys, Leanna here, playing The Witcher 3. Yes, despite all the freaking out! Somebody freaked out on someone, apparently, over not liking the way the trees move in this game. People get really excitable about this game. So we're gonna pick up a quest here. I apologize for the, the blabby blab. Um, I'm trying to avoid campaign spoilers. So, this is a side quest that I'm, I'm picking up here. Uh, so don't worry, this isn't a main quest thing. This is just a, a contract quest. Okay. And you'll notice I gave Geralt slightly less dumb armor. Although he still has a frilly collar. I can't see him wearing that willingly. And sorry if you constantly guys hear me like taking a drink or something like that more than more than usual. Um, I'm still sick. Um, All right. And I'm doing my best to push through. But oh, oh, I like this monster. Um, relax. But uh, uh, if I misspeak or switch a word around, or more than usual. It's because I'm sick. Don't freak out. I'll remind everyone again that this is a casual, personal YouTube channel. Do not come here expecting polished, you know, pre-written content. Everything is off the cuff. It's not rehearsed. It's not written. I don't even have notes. I'm just talking to you guys while I'm playing the game. Okay? So, expecting anything else from this channel is just a, an exercise in frustration for all involved. I'm asking again, please do not put that amount of pressure on me. I cannot meticulously prepare content like this on a daily basis for a private channel. This is something I do as an add-on to my other stuff. It's not my full-time job. So, um, we're chasing a furry. And, wait, there's still something there? That's weird. Um, but, uh, um, I... This game, playing this game, has reminded me of how, okay, where, follow, follow, should I just follow? Follow usually means follow, yeah. Um, I, this game's reminded me of how difficult storytelling in, in RPGs is, because it's not, oh, 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 there, 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 okay. It's not just telling a good story. It's telling a good story that allows the player to stay in control of, at the very least, the main character's reactions to situations. Ideally, he's also able, he or she, or it, they, are also able to control certain elements of the world. Um, what's this? Uh, okay, laundry. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's sort of the mark of an all RPG instead of just like an action adventure game or a game with RPG elements. An RPG is supposed to be about role playing and you pick a character and you go with it. All right. Um, so the... And this is just my my personal thing about RPGs and, and game storytelling in general, but especially in RPGs. I don't like it when the game tells me what I should be thinking about something. I want to be able to come to my own conclusions about what something means. And if a character wants to give their own own opinion that's one thing as long as it's not the main character because i'm supposed to be informing the main character's opinions but in 
Um, there are times in this game where after you complete some, you know, side quests, it breaks off and the game starts pontificating on, you know, the, a philosophical point connected to the quest in Geralt's voice. And that frustrates me because I'm like, hold on, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I decide here what I think about a given storyline. And I found it exceptionally frustrating in one place where I felt like it took a difficult, you know, gutsy storyline about, you know, some really complicated and dark elements of the human condition and made it less poignant than it could have been by trying to tell me what to think about the whole thing. And I mean, we're talking about a story that involved addiction and abuse and family troubles and infidelity and all this stuff. And, and then it told me this moral that I didn't come to on my own. Letter. Uh, letter. Letter. Um, so that I would prefer, and I might be in the minority here, but this is my opinion, that thing everyone's allowed to have. I much prefer when a game doesn't spoon feed you that stuff. I, um, <laughs> burn a letter. Uh, walking around beggar, blah, 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 blah. Oh, king of beggars, okay. Um, a doubler explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead. Come on, Geralt. I'd much prefer if a game just let me think what I want to think about a story. I cannot stand when they start pontificating. I believe in show, don't tell, and especially in RPGs. Especially in RPGs that are supposed to be open-ended. If somebody wants to tell a story where, you know, something like Assassin's Creed, where there's hardwired characters and a specific moral code, and they want to control how Ezio or Connor or, you know, Edward or whoever response to a situation will just make your game an open world uh, action adventure game you know don't make it an rpg and a lot of people are like but 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 no western rpgs are all about player choice in that way there's very little else that makes the genre special or you know even especially compelling in that way the reason to play a western rpg is for that choice so you can be a part of the story. Hey, there's the part I wanted. This is the thing I wanted. Um, and I think that's important to keep in mind when we're interacting with games and we're discussing games when, especially in this era of, hey, I'm following funk. I love the following funk. Um, I think this is an important thing to keep in mind, especially when people are talking about the death of genre, that the type of game doesn't matter anymore. I think that's utter nonsense. The game genre or gameplay type tells me what sort of experience I'm going to have. And I think it's exceptionally important. Okay, this is the Doppler. All right, here goes. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, he wants to search him. Use a non-human. I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't fuck. Go play your flute. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That was some pretty bad acting. Yeah. You dare insult an office. Look who's talking. I'm merchant put out a contract on me. Is he gonna transform? Is it gonna be cool? Uh Always the same old shit. Huh. <laughs> it's like being on the internet, Geralt. Where is he? Okay, I'm chasing him. So, that that's sort of, the, this idea that, that genre is irrelevant now is so silly. Because it tells people what sort of experience you're going to have playing the game. And an action-adventure game is very different. What's going on here? Oh, he turned into me. Okay. Um, 
Oh, I get to fight myself. Oh, he has my powers, too. This kind of sucks. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm going to come into a game with a very different expectation of an RPG than I am of an action game, and that should just be a given. And, heh <laughs> heh. Um. I'm going to let him go. Okay. Start stealing somewhere else. Far from I know. But I thought they'd not catch Okay, whatever. Sometimes they say Geralt has a conscience. Sometimes he says the humanity's been bred out of them. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to believe here, but that's part of the thing about RPGs that I find so confusing in this particular game. And part of me really wishes this had been an open world action adventure series where with RPG elements where Geralt was sort of hardwired and the choices were kind of limited. And yeah, that would that would take away some of it. I mean, the, the biggest thing this game has going forward as an RPG is that the player gets to choose uh, things like between, you know, Triss and the, the Triss-Yennefer uh, triangle. And... Convince the to go And how would I know you speak... Yeah. Yeah, invisible hand of the market. Fine, whatever, I don't care. Um, but, uh, I don't want to go to Skellig. I hate that it keeps being this default quest. But, um... Okay, I, that's the one I'm halfway through. Oh no, that's the one I'm halfway through. Um... But, yeah, I mean, as I was saying, the... The biggest thing for me to recommend this particular story, the continuing adventures of Geralt of Rivia as an RPG, is for the player to get to resolve that love triangle of, you know, Geralt, Triss, and Yennefer. That part's cool. Some of this other stuff... I, I think sometimes this game, being an RPG, gets in the way of what it's good at, which is really pretty graphics and, you know, combat, sword-driven combat. Um, cause you don't really have classes and, and you can tweak the character, but he is essentially a hand-to-hand -hand based combatant. And... I would like more RPGs, it's true. What are you doing out during the day? Oh yeah, I need the Yurden. Um, but this, I mean, this is the fun in the game, right? Killing monsters in interesting ways. And it sort of like puzzles with monsters. Ow. And this part of the game, I really, really like. I like the fact that, you know, you can't really cause damage on these wraiths without um, getting them in this little magical trap. Uh, you know, I like that you have to sort of prepare for battles. Um, the, the combat in these games, I mean, of the three games, I think that, um, this is the best one in terms of playability combat-wise. It's even, in some ways, the best ones as an RPG, but it's never really clicked in that regard because I think there's relatively I don't know if it's industry understanding of the genre that's really annoying those white flashes um, I don't know if it's indus industry understanding of the genre or the fact that they're trying to appeal to uh RPG fans and I mean we all kind of know we're a fairly small piece of the gaming community compared to you know people who like shooters or, or people who like you know platformer puzzle games or anything like that but we are out there and I guess they're trying to find a way to serve both masters I don't know but I, I'm an RPG purist I, I need that interaction so it, it's something to think about as I said 
all these videos are just for food of thought. Okay, it's food for thought. It's let's look at this. Here's my view on it. I'm not asking anybody to change anything. I'm not asking for anything to be done just to cater to me. It's just stuff I think is interesting and should be talked about. So I'm reiterating that so that when people freak out because they think I'm being critical of this game, I will point out to them yet again, or someone else can point out to them yet again, that I am just offering these, these opinions, these videos as food for thought, because that's what I do. That's the role of somebody who writes about games. We create food for thought, and I really should have taken a boat. I didn't realize it was going to be this far away. But that's the video for today. I'll, I'll await the freaking out. Feedback Friday this week is going to be a doozy. Um, just because of all the weird stuff that's happened this week. And you know how when you're sick, you have less tolerance for people being fools? And the semantics arguments really great more than usual because it's one of those things that you just want to say, you know what I meant, asshole. You're just trying to show how smart you are, not find common understanding, prove your superiority. And I have absolutely no interest in these superiority wars. I think it's the wrong way to come at games. I think games are supposed to be fun and, and you play games for fun not to feel superior to another person. I, I don't think that... Yes, that is... Ow. Oh, that is some people's idea of fun, to feel superior, but I don't think it's a healthy version of fun, and I don't think that's the fun that games are supposed to do. I mean, yes, there's leaderboards and people are competitive and all that stuff, but that's being good at a particular game, not a display of intellectual superiority. And I just find this race to be the smartest person in the room getting so tired. Because things require so much specialization now. There's no way to be an expert on everything. And yet I find that a lot of people are not going, you know, I don't know this aspect of it, so of, of this issue, so I'm just going to listen as well you know I'm, I'm just gonna listen and i'm gonna ask questions now see that that bounce that weird thing where they die it's hilarious but i don't think it's intentional i'm not sure why the game does that but yeah i mean if i don't really know much about something i'll say so because i have my specialties and i have the things i am good at so i'm secure enough to be able to go okay i don't know enough about this issue um I wish more people did that because the stuff is getting really old, but I'm going to let you guys go now because I'm sure I've been rambling because I'm really not feeling well. And, um, oh, there's battlefield dude. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to end the ramble and hope I feel better by tomorrow because I really hate being sick.